Well, you knew this was coming. If you see it somewhere in the Detroit Lions space, odds are it's going to be repeated and talked about by your favorite creator. Now, I like to source my stuff and get information before I make a video about it. And I was sent this information by somebody who asked my opinion about it on Twitter. So got to talk about it. And you already know that is a kind of bold trade proposal that somebody is putting before the Detroit Lions. Actually, a wish list trade for uh, to happen at the trade deadline. And we've talked about a lot of people. We've talked about Trey Hendrickson. Hassan Reddick. We talked about Max Crosby. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And whether you or not or not you think it's clickbait or whatever the situation is, this is what gets people talking. All right. So that's why we have these dialogues. And now a name. Here comes a new challenger. You guys remember that from the video games? It was like, here comes a new challenger. We got a new name that has been thrown in the mix and is somebody that I did not think about simply because of where they were drafted. But when you look at it from a financial perspective, it makes a little bit of sense. It makes more sense than almost anyone else that we've talked about. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. This is coming from a individual on ESPN from ESPN plus his name is all the way up at the top of the article. And if I scroll up there, I'm going to lose my place. All right. And he makes a trade proposal for a Trayvon Walker. Now remember back in 2022 as the trade, I'm sorry, as the NFL draft was approaching, I would say around March after the combine, which is held in February, there was a name that shot up the draft boards. His name is Trayvon Walker. And we could not believe that this guy was going to be pick number one. And then we hear with the first pick in the 2022 NFL draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Trayvon Walker and we lost our mind. I did particularly because at that point I knew that there was no way the Detroit Lions were going to pass on Aiden Hutchinson. And then we take him with the next pick. But this trade proposal is because of what Jacksonville is their record right now. They were a sneeze away from being one and five. They're currently sitting at one and four. And I actually made a Twitter post during that game and was like, I may have to take a look at the Jacksonville Jaguars roster because they're kind of a dumpster fire right now. Everybody's like, they won that game, but they're not a very good team, right? Coming out of everybody's mouth, uh, Peterson will probably be fired. But Trayvon, I think the fact that he was the first overall pick, you're not really thinking about it. But then I'm like, you kind of could think about this because Chase Young was traded, second overall pick after Joe Burrow. Jeff Okuda was traded, third overall pick after Chase Young. They both were traded in their rookie contracts. So the more you think about it, the more sense it really could make, especially when you look at these like season pass rushers, Max Crosby, because the second deal is when you make your money, right? And we're going to talk about that a little later. But here is what the trade proposal is. The Lions get Trayvon Walker. The Jacksonville Jaguars get a 2025 fourth round selection and a 2026 fourth round selections says the Jaguars got their first one of the season Sunday and may still be subtracting when the trade deadline comes Walker, the first overall pick in the 2022 in 2022 has just two splashy games this season and three complete blanks. Otherwise he still hasn't quite figured it out with the Jackson with the Jaguars, but he has done enough five sacks this season to still fetch a solid pick or two in return. How could that help the Detroit Lions? I know how the Lions would use him. A big base in mashing against the run and pushing the pocket opposite Aiden Hutchinson, who incidentally was taking one selection after Walker in that 2022 draft. That was the plan for Marcus Davenport, who was lost for the season with a torn tricep in week four. And John Kaminsky, who was supposed to be a key rotational player, is out for the year. Not quite. You're getting ahead of yourself. The Lions are worrying, are uh, worrying, worryingly thin, worrying, worryingly thin at defensive end. That's not a word you say every day. Worryingly, worryingly. Wow. 
So there is some sense in that. We don't have that guy opposite Aiden Hutchinson. I have never thought about Trayvon Walker. I think just because my guy, I was looking at Josh Hines Allen and all that. It was just like, okay, you just drafted this guy. But the more we talk about it, the more sense it could make. Now let's take a look at Trayvon stats. We know he was taken. He's only 23 years old. So him and Hutch around the same age. This right here, even though I'm not a huge fan of Trayvon, this would be a nightmare for the next two years, 100%. And again, when we get to the finances, you're going to see it makes more sense for the Lions than the Jacksonville Jaguars, but it, it do, it's not preposterous. That's the thing. 6'5", two, 272 uh, out of Georgia. That's first round pick in 2022. He's got five sacks, so three tackles. I'm sorry, eight solo tackles, five of them are sacks, and a forced fumble. Now, what has he done over his career? His career, as we go to stats, we look at his two and a half years thus far, played 17 games last season, three and a half sacks his rookie season, 10 last year. So the dude, and he's already at five after four games, or I'm sorry, five games this year. So he's essentially averaging a sack a game. Now, this is where it does get intriguing. So before we go any further, I want to know, who would you entertain this? Because it does get a little bit juicy as we dive into this. Now, here is Trayvon Walker's contract. Remember, he is a first-round pick, first overall pick. He makes a touch more than Aiden Hutchinson. And it, it gets good, but then it gets bad at the same time. All right? So when you come to paying this guy, he's pretty much, look at this. This is some defensive ends, like, entire year. This is one year. His entire contract is $37 million. That was guaranteed $37 million. Here's what he would be paid in 2024 would be, which is his third year. So most of the year at the trade deadline, half the year would be over. So the Lions would, whatever that pro rate comes to. Then in 2025, this is what they would be on the hook for. Okay. Then you got a fifth year option. So you would have this guy for the same length of time you would have a Max Crosby and a year longer than you would have a Trey Hendrickson for essentially a steal. Because remember, the fifth-year option shows up a little later. I can't see what that is right now, but that shows up a little later. And if you remember the same draft that Chase Young and Jeff Okuda was drafted, then there was those teams declined. The Lions declined their fifth-year option. The Washington Commanders decline his fifth year option. So it gets good. It gets good, right? Now, let's consider this. It this is why it's good and it's bad. And we'll look at Jacksonville, Jackson, the Jacksonville Jaguars, re, what their remaining schedule is to see how likely this is. Now, before you shoot this now, I want you to think about something here. Trayvon Walker. The Lions would essentially have to pick up the fifth-year option of both him and Aiden Hutchinson. Put in the comment section, if it's ever been, this is this is a stat right now I want to know. Has there ever been, in the, in, in the NFL period, a first and second overall pick that played, on, that wound up on the same team under their rookie contract? Has that ever happened before? Some of you statisticians might know this stuff. If, if that hasn't happened, has a, I'm sure a number one and number two pick in the same draft has played on the same team, right, at some point in time. But has a number one pick, a number two pick from the same draft played on the same team under their rookie contract? And how about this? Under the same position, if you, if you guys want to dig, go that far. So the Lions, here, here's why this is not outlandish. It, the, the more you think about it, the more sense it really does start to make. Trayvon Walker would be one of the cheapest edge rushers that we could get. He would be cheaper than Hassan Reddick. He would be cheaper than Max Crosby. He would be cheaper than Trey Hendrickson. He's younger considerably than all of them. Here's another thing, too. The Jacksonville Jaguars are kind of dumb. They passed on Hutch to get this guy. They let this dude climb up the track. He, he basically, I remember when this draft was, was coming around, they called him a, a combine warrior, right? Now, he's, he's not horrible. I mean, the dude got 
13 and a half sacks after two years. He's sitting at 19 sacks right now. So him and Hutch are duking it out. He just kind of comes in bunches as well, okay? So here's the thing. Now you get to the fifth-year option. You pick up Trayvon's. You pick up Aiden's. You extend Aiden, and now Trayvon Walker is playing on a fifth-year option. But now you have to think about this. Is Trayvon going to hold out? Is he going to play under his the last year of his deal? Now you're talking about a monster contract to Hutch and then a decent contract to Trayvon Walker. So you're talking about monster payments at this point. That is one reason I could see the Detroit Lions not doing it. However, just because you trade for Trayvon doesn't mean he stays on this team. So let's look at it from this perspective. Now Trayvon Walker is traded to the Detroit Lions. Let's entertain this. You extend Hutch. Now you give him another three years. So now you have him for four years. His fifth year option, four years past that. Now you got for, for two and a half years, okay, from the trade deadline, all through 2025, all through 2026, you have Aiden Hutchinson and Trayvon Walker. It's kind of scary to even think about. So I'm just, so a lot of y'all, y'all don't, this is not that outlandish of a deal if you look at it on paper. But will the Jacksonville's, the Jacksonville Jaguars give up or, or, or do this? They're dumb enough that they, they took the dude, so they might be dumb enough to let him go. And if you're Brad Holmes, do you approach it, it, it kind of does make sense because now you're talking about a two and a half year deal for cheaper than any pass rusher outside of a Marcus Davenport esque, like a caliber of Marcus Davenport. Now, Trayvon Walker's not elite. I think Aiden is elite. I think Trayvon could could be elite. But I tell you what, it would be a scary sight. Now, let's look at the Jacksonville Jaguars remaining schedule. They played, they got their long win against the Indianapolis Colts, and that was very close to a loss. Chicago and London, they're playing very well. They So they got two games in London. The New England Patriots, they're going to start Bo Nix. They probably will win that game. So what do you think is going to happen here? They're going either going to be, they could, they could be one in five, all right, any given Sunday. Do the Green Bay Packers beat them? I say, where does it say, Lambeau? Versus Green Bay, I think Green Bay gets the dub. Philadelphia Eagles, they're not playing very well. They get the dub. And guess what? This is when the trade deadline is. So Trayvon Walker, that's a that's a question right there. That's a question. We just looked this up. Oh, nope. We could trade for him. And then they play. So the trade deadline happens here. Here's their opponents. Chicago. New England, Green Bay, Philadelphia. I think I think they go one and three in this stretch, make them two and seven. They're now they here's the trade deadline. You can't get rid of Josh Hines Allen because you just paid him a monster deal. Okay. And then if you were to trade Trayvon here, okay, I don't know if the the same trade rules apply at the trade deadline, but remember, you can't trade a player. To your opposition, yes, you can. You just need more than six days. It would have to happen in more than six days. So because we would play them in, in two weeks after the trade deadline, a little more than that, a little less than that, this trade could happen. Trayvon Walker plays for the Detroit Lions against his old team on Sunday, November 17th, 2024. So I know it sounds ridiculous, it does sound like a fantasy, and it's it's you know essentially up to the Jacksonville Jaguars and Detroit Lions. But if you take away the the seemingly outlandishness, it does make a lot of sense. You get a decent pass rusher, probably better than anybody else that we could get under the price of anybody else we could get. You understand what I'm saying? Of of an elite pass rusher. Now, I'll tell you what, if the Detroit Lions traded for Trayvon Walker, I can't be mad. I could not be, I, I couldn't be mad at that. You got two dudes under the age of 25. Both of them combined have, what, 30 plus sacks in two and a half years at this point. You would have Trayvon for another two years after the trade. 
you wouldn't even have to talk about extending him until year five after you picked up his fifth year option. I don't know if this has ever happened in any in, in the NFL period, but this video has gone on long enough. It was a lot to unpack. And the more I start talking about it, it didn't seem so ridiculous after after all. So let me know in the comments below if you would do this. Before we get out of here, I got to show you again the green grid iron. Um, let me just go here to the Y cam. The green grid iron helmet is in stock. All right. Already, my affiliate link has sold three since I made the video earlier today. So the Eclipse, I'm kind of bummed out because the black helmet that I was telling you guys I wanted to get, that is all it is gone, so it's unavailable, and my heart is broken. But these are still in stock. I just went and checked the website before I made this video. I don't know how many it is, but they are currently in stock at not at eight o'clock, which is the making of this video. You won't see it until 9 30. Okay. You can pay overtime with Shop Pay, which is a firm essentially that you can pay for installments of whatever. Uh, if you divide the price by four. So if you were to get this helmet, the one I'm showing you, then that would be four payments of $37.50. Again, I am trying to get you guys this helmet more than I'm trying to make money, right? Because it's a, it's an affiliate link. It ain't like I'm killing the, the, the but I want y'all to be able to do this because this boy right here, and again, eventually I'll give this away. I'm going to get the the speed flex, the one that's a step up from this that you can actually put on your head. I like that design. And now when I'm watching games, I see that design and I want it. So that's the one I want. I'm, I'm going to try and get my hands on that as soon as possible. And then we'll probably give this one away when we hit 30K. All right. So anyway, there we go. Let me know your thoughts, man. I know it sounds ridiculous, but to be real with you, I honestly believe that Hassan Reddick, Trey Hendrickson, and... And and um, what's the other one? Max Crosby? I think that it's more preposterous to think about them than it is for this. This we've seen first round picks get traded on their rookie contract. Anyway, let me know what you think. This video went on forever. This channel is brought to you by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You could be anywhere else on YouTube, but you choose to rock with me. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. <laughs>